Last year was my first year breeding snakes, and this beautiful girl, Pumpkin, was the first one to give me good eggs. These were actually the only two good eggs I had, and it's been an amazing, amazing journey getting to see them shed for the first time, getting to see them eat their first pinky, take their first little steps, if you will. And look, a year later, colored up beautifully, still a lot of coloring up to do. And this year, year number two, Paprika and Riddler were the first ones to lay, and now the eggs are hatching. So I wanna show you these little guys, so enjoy. Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. So before we get into the video, I just want to make a toast for all the reptile lovers, everybody watching the videos. I got this nice coffee. They brew fresh every morning at my local specialty market. I didn't feel like grounding my own coffee today, so I took the easy route, but it's really good. So I want to make a toast to all of you guys. So as you guys know, last year, pumpkin and paprika bred for the first time ever. They had eggs, but all the eggs were infertile. It was probably the timing was a little bit off, but they were all infertile. So this year we bred them again and we got 12 good looking eggs. Two of them wound up molding and dying, which left us with 10 good eggs. Nine of them hatched already. We have nine beautiful babies. The 10th egg is hatching right now. So I just wanted to show you these babies. I wanna make a toast to Paprika and Riddler. I'm so excited to do this video for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. So what do you do when you start having babies hatching out of the eggs? You could let them hatch out and stay in the same bin with the vermiculite or whatever substrate you had. They're just gonna hang out together. They're gonna absorb the yolk, but I wanna put them in a separate bin. I wanna get a close look at them, clean them up a little bit. So I use paper towel, spray it down with some water because you gotta keep it a little bit more humid and moist for these newborns. Now these are gonna change a lot with each shed. The colors are gonna change more like their mom, Paprika, I won't be able to tell which one is an extreme ochre tea versus regular until their colors start changing. And this little guy doesn't even want to get off my finger. It's amazing how calm and relaxed he is with me for just being born. So each snake I'm rinsing off with a little bit of water, double checking, making sure their eyes are okay, there's no kinks in the tail or anywhere. Just basically doing an overall inspection of each snake to make sure they're okay and there's no little birth defects that I might have not seen. So people that don't breed snakes might think most of these babies come out looking exactly the way the adults look, but usually they're born with totally different colors and they start changing with age. Not all snakes, some snakes as babies look similar to the adults, but a lot of these corn snakes change a lot. Now this particular little baby right here caught my eye. You could see that little aberrant zigzag pattern right above his head. You got a good shot of it right there. And his saddles have unique markings. Almost looks like a leopard to me. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on that guy. He might 
stay here. I'm not sure. So something that really amazes me is the way these babies bunch up together. It's almost like they're cuddling, kind of strange. So now we're just gonna let the snakes finishing up absorbing that egg yolk. We're gonna wait for them to shed. When they all shed once, then we could start offering them meals. I wanna get them nice and plump, get them nice and healthy. We're gonna see the colors start to change on snakes. It's just gonna be amazing. I have tons more eggs waiting to hatch. Within another week to four weeks, they should all be hatching. I'm gonna have tons of snakes running around or slithering around, I should say, everywhere. So I really won't be holding many snakes back for myself. I'm gonna be making almost all of them available. I have a huge collection. I have females that I got from Lee Abbott. Let me show you one right real quick. So you guys know Daytona. This is an extreme Abbott's Okatee that I picked up from Lee Abbott in Daytona. Woo! <laughs> she's a little feisty today. Normally, she's never feisty, but she just doesn't feel like being on camera today. But you can see how beautiful she is. Look at the tail, it's almost pure black. So extreme. Now she's gonna be breeding in about two years, and she's really, really extreme. Maybe even more than paprika, so I got paprika. <laughs> Let me put her back real quick. <laughs> All right, I always tell you corn snakes almost never bite. I could take Daytona out off camera a hundred times and she never bites me. It must be something with the camera or the way the lighting's coming in because she's trying to tag me, but she's amazing. And I have paprika. I also have, I'll show you another one. Now this is Eleanor. Look at this extreme buckskin okatee that I picked up from South Mountain Reptiles. Just an amazing looking girl. She'll be breeding in about two years as well. Just give you guys a nice look at exactly what she looks like. So, I also have these amazing buckskin okatees that I picked up from Craig Trumbauer at Daytona. So I have so many beautiful corn snakes. I only need a male. Abbott's Okatee. I want it to be nice and extreme. From this clutch, I seen one that had a little zigzag marking, a little aberrant stripe along the top, right behind its head. And the body had like a slight leopard pattern. It was a little bit different. The saddles weren't perfectly formed like most of them. It was all a little bit different. So I might be looking to hold that one back if it's a male and I'm just looking for one male. I have tons more eggs to come. I'm gonna keep you guys posted. I'll give you a quick peek at some of the eggs real quick. So take a look at the last egg that we're waiting to hatch from Paprika and Riddler. All nine eggs hatched. This one was starting to get me worried and then I finally saw a little ooze off the side, the egg yolk starting oozing out. So this one should be pipping by tonight. So I'll be giving you guys an update after this one hatches. The late bloomer, I guess sometimes they just wanna make you wait, it didn't wanna come out. It was nice and relaxing in the egg. He just wanted to hang out. So I'm gonna give a quick toast. A quick toast to this little egg. I'll be giving you guys an update once he or she hatches. So I don't really like talking about selling snakes at all on my videos, but I've been getting so many messages through Instagram, on Facebook, private messages. Where do I sell snakes? Do I have any snakes available? So once these babies are ready to go, I'll be selling them on Morph Market all of my snakes I'll be selling on Morph Market and starting next year I'll be vending locally here in Florida. So if you visit me at one of the shows or you can go on Morph Market, eventually I will have my own website and I have a list of people that want snakes. So if you contact me privately, I'll definitely look to get you a snake first. Now I would just love more than anything for people that watch my channel 
to have some of my snakes because you could go back to the very beginning when I first started with these snakes as little babies, watch them grow, you could go through all the videos and then you could see them breed, lay the eggs, hatch, you could see the babies coming out and then they'll be in your home. I wish I had that experience. That would be amazing. And then we can talk about it. You could always look at the parents and siblings on video. It's like a nice little family. It's so amazing. I'm gonna make a toast to that. All right, so this was just a quick little video giving you guys an update and a surprise that Paprika and Riddler's eggs hatched. And now I'm gonna be posting the video from the show I went to last weekend, Repti Day, Boynton Beach. That should be up on Sunday, so enjoy that. I'm just so happy I could give you guys a nice little look into these beautiful baby eggs. We're gonna have a lot more videos coming up because there's gonna be hatchlings everywhere. Daytona's coming up in about two or three weeks, so it's gonna be a handful, but I'm having fun. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm gonna make a couple more toasts for you guys off camera. Video. I got a nice cup of coffee from my local market. They make really good coffee. And I want <laughs> Now this was the first clutch that was laid. I have a bunch. Hold up, hold up, hold up. In Daytona. Woo! <laughs> She's a little feisty today I normally. Freak up. Freak up. Freak up.